Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Radiance First. So today I decided to do, so this is already 2017, I decided to do a favorite products of 2016 because that's in the past and this is now. So I want to show you guys my favorite products that I actually used last year. Okay, so um, I started my channel last year in August. So, I pretty much started building up my inventory last year. So, I'm going to run through with you guys some of the stuff that I started with. Um, actually, a lot of the stuff is new, but I'll show you what I started with and what I did not start with. So, here we go. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But, yeah, let's go. Alright. So I am going to actually start with my foundations. So I'm going to show you guys, I think, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start with actually these like silver, these tin containers. And this is, these are from 100% Pure, the brand. And this is the powder. That's what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it. I hope so. But this is what it looks like. This is what it comes in. It comes in like a little tin can. And this powder is actually really amazing. I only use it a couple of times, not that much, because I, I normally have my my um setting powder to work with. So I don't really use the powder in general. But I'm working up to that into my foundation routine. And this is a it's almost the same as this silver one but this one is like a purple color this is actually the bronzer now this bronzer is really great really really great i haven't i don't really use it that much as well but i'm trying to work it into my routine but the outcome that i've been looking for hasn't been what i'm looking for right now but i'm still working on the results to be how I want them to be but I'm definitely gonna be keep those and I'm definitely gonna keep using them they look similar when you open them as you could tell and these are well the powders in the shade cocoa and the bronzer as well but they're both really great products I can tell you that I don't use bronzer that much but I'm trying to and continuing into the 100% pure products this is one of their foundations which i am in love with oh my god this is the foundation that i'm using right now currently i did i use it to create this look i have here today and it is the 100% pure super fruits healthy foundation uh it has vitamins antioxidants and sun protection 100% natural and 100% vegan so this is what it looks like it's it may be a little bit bright in the camera because of the light but I hope you guys can see it it has like a little push down tube thing <laughs> but yeah I love this foundation because it's actually matte when you apply it on your face it actually stays matte for a while but sadly my skin is oily which I'm trying to work on as well but it stays on matte for long as long as I need it to actually because I don't, I don't really wear makeup the whole entire day so just during the day not really from morning till night but during the day until whenever I guess nighttime or something like that so it keeps me matte for as long as that I need it to and here is one of the products that I started with oh my god this is the black radiance foundation liquid foundation oil free liquid foundation in the shade brownie this is still one of my favorite foundations now sometimes if i don't feel like using this i'll go back to my black radiance i transition between the two so if you watch some of my videos you're gonna notice that i can't i transition i transition between the two but right now these are my two favorite foundations i use this i started off with this foundation because i saw it I went to CVS one day and I saw it there and it was like $4.99 I think I think it was $4.99 and I just decided to try it because it was cheap 
but it's actually really great like really really great it's so amazing i'm in love with it <clears throat> and now i have been wanting this for so long oh lord jesus christ let me tell you guys something this black opal true color i use this as a contour before i put the powder in which i'm going to show you guys what i'm talking about a little later when i get to the powder but this is the black opal true color in the shade black walnut it's a foundation stick but you can also use it as a contour which is what i normally do but i rarely i've started rarely doing contours that much the, right now not, i did not do a contour today <clears throat> i did like a simple subtle look but if i'm trying to go for like a bold look a bold look and i'm trying to go for like the whole big shebang i do do a contour and i use this with this powder which i'm getting to right now this is one of the this is one of the products that i started with I started just doing like a powder contour when I started out and this is the Black Radiance Pressed Powder Oil Free Formula with a matte finish but I don't use it as powder I use it as contour actually and this is in the shade Ebony this is what it looks like it's a little like rusted out if you notice if you can tell but it's just because I've had it for a while and this is what the inside looks like so what I would do is I will apply this, blend it in, and then after I'm, I finish everything, I apply this over top of it to create that contour thin face look. <clears throat> and again, if you go back to my videos, you will notice that, but I haven't done a video using this yet, so keep a lookout for that. That <clears throat> keep a lookout for one of those videos. And when I'm where I'm gonna go next, I'm going to go to Elf. Am I the only person that has noticed that e.l.f. has incredibly beautiful packaging? Like, I know I'm not the only person who's noticed that. It, like, look at these. They are so pretty. They are so, so pretty. Like, this is their blush palette that I am so, so in love with. Like, you don't understand how much I love this palette. I don't know. Like, with the way that I love it right now, I don't know if I'll try anything else at the moment. I think I'm just going to stick to my <laughs> my Elf palette. Right now, the main shades that I use are this one. I use this one with, to create this look that I did today. And this one as well. When I want, like, the extra rosy cheeks. As you noticed in my last video, I did. I used this one to create that extra rosy cheeks. But I use this one to make to to give me like a more subtle look. I haven't tried these ones yet, but I'm yet to try them. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hold back on using all of them. I'm gonna use all of them. So, but yeah, I'm so 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 in love with this palette. Like it's amazing, and it's cheap too. It's a it's a it's cheaper than a lot of blush sets because it, ha it comes with four blushes so i can't really complain because a lot of the like you pay so much money for like one blush and it would be like wow you can pay for a set of four for like six dollars it was totally worth my money i love it <clears throat> and that was like the first time i actually started using blush in my videos when i bought this palette i rarely use blush and next is this little cute box I love it love it love it Ooh. whoops <laughs> okay this is a set, a set of eyeshadows it comes with like the highlight and like the other four base colors but I really love this color when I want to create like darker shades and it's so convenient because it's so tiny and small and these shades are they just come out so beautifully and shiny i'm sorry guys is the light kind of like i'm sorry but um it's like so gorgeous like the outcome of everything it comes out so beautifully i have no complaints whatsoever and if i if i want to travel a light it's one of the things that I, I carry with me all the time all right i'm over here rapping i need to catch my breath for a second <laughs> okay um 
sadly I'm gonna go to ColourPop but sadly one of my favorite products from ColourPop I, o I overused it I mean what do I mean overuse it? I finished it. It was the gel. Is it gel? Yeah, it was the gel brow pencil. Yeah, I mean the cream brow pencil. Yeah, it was amazing. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. It's totally worth your money. I'm in love with the ColourPop gel. That's a gel cream <laughs> brow pencil in the shade brown and brown slash black that's the color i think brown and black yeah but speaking of color pop this is one of my favorite highlights from color pop it's called avalon and i haven't i didn't use it today in this video but normally i would use i'll mix this fun this um highlight with another highlight which i'm going to show you guys later on but um this highlight is really pretty. It's a little bit hard when taking it off because it's like a cream. Yeah, it's more like a cream color. I don't know if you guys can see that. I mean, not color. It's more like a cream product, creamy product. So you kind of have to like rub your brush in it to get it to apply on properly. But I am just so in love with that. I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope you can. Ah. But it is so pretty. I'm totally in love with it. I'm not going to lie. I'm definitely going to keep buying these products that I have here with me right now. I'm definitely going to keep stacking on. I'm not going to go back on them. And I have to say, when it comes to primers... I would probably I used to use milk of magnesia I probably still do depending on what I'm trying to achieve I guess the kind of look I'm trying to achieve but on a regular basis I use the black radiance true complex shine control primer because I actually really love this <clears throat> I actually really love this primer I'm sorry guys my voice is becoming hoarse but I actually really love this primer because it actually works it's almost the when I apply it on it almost comes on like the um milk of magnesia like I did in my black radiance review that you guys saw but it comes out really nice and it actually keeps your makeup on properly I don't really have any on today so my skin is like a little bit oily on some parts of my face but normally when I put this on and then I have my, I put on my setting spray, it comes out so gorgeous, which I love. And what I'm going to, hey, hey, hey. All right. I am going to go to my favorite eyeshadow palettes. Guys, let me tell you something. BH Cosmetics is no joke. Like... They are no joke. Look at this. This is the what's it called? The Modern Naturals 28 color eyeshadow palette. These are all natural colors. I this is my go-to palette when I want to achieve no natural looks. The look I did today was ba is based off of this palette by itself. I did this look just using this palette. I didn't use the other one. But I bought these palettes like I think in no sometime in November. In sep between September and November. And then I bought this one with it too. This is the 88 matte color eyeshadow palette. Let me show you guys. Now this palette comes with a lot of colors. It comes with your natural colors on this side and here too as well. And your pinks, your purples, your blues, your greens, your darker colors like your black, your gray. So I really like it. It's really convenient when I want to do like a bold colored look. It's not, this is actually matte. It doesn't have like the shimmer colors. I have another palette that I use for my shimmer colors but it's not part of my 2016 favorites. So, but this is... A definite one of my go-to for my 2016 favorite eyeshadow palettes these two these two 
these two are totally worth everything. Actually, they're not even expensive to be honest. I think this one was like 12 and this one was 11. If I'm correct, they were not expensive and they work just as well as the bigger name brand products. So, which one would I choose? Like, <laughs> no lie though. This is totally, they're totally great. And the, the one, now let me go to my brows. The reason I haven't done like a brow tutorial yet is because I take like 25 hours to do my brows. I haven't mastered like the quick brows yet, but once I do, but I'm slowly getting there. Let me tell y'all, <laughs> I'm slowly getting there. But once I do, <clears throat> like the way I do my brows, I take my time. Like I really, really take my time. Today I didn't really take my time that much because I was in a hurry a little bit. But when I'm doing my brows, I really take my time. So it takes me longer to do like a brow video than I actually would do my actual makeup. So I'm, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to you guys. Get back to you guys on that eyebrow tutorial. But uh, for my brows, right now the main one that I use, I think the brand is called Second Love. I'm not really sure. Cause it doesn't really have a name on it. It was a gift my mom got me for Christmas. And that actually does count as 2016 because 2016 did not And until, was it the 20? Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, 2016 is still, it was still part of 2016 because Christmas is still on 25th, guys. But she gave it to me a little bit earlier. So I started using it before Christmas. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's like a little cute bottle, like a little cute tube. This eyebrow, what's it called? Eyebrow gel, thank you. This eyebrow gel is um, Espresso by, I'm just assuming the brand is called Second Love. It's Espresso Brown and I love it, I really do. You, it's one of the ones that you use with a brush, you don't, it's not like a pencil or anything, you use a brush for it. And it's, it works so amazing. The color is gorgeous. I actually really love it. And then this my second go-to is my NYX eyebrow gel. And this one is an espresso as well. Yeah. I know you guys are very familiar with this one. I don't... I mean... I, I use it, obviously, because it's really convenient. Because it's, I feel like they're better than the actual pencils themselves. But I'd rather use this one over this one because I feel like this one is like a little bit more, um, I guess softer than this one. This one's a little thick. So the, I feel like the thicker it is, the easier it is to apply on. So I'd rather use this one than this one, but this is definitely my second go-to. So, like I said, um, I don't really use fake lashes. I use fake lashes off and on. I'm trying to get used to using them more often. But when I don't use my fake lashes, I use these three go-to mascaras. The first, the first mascara is Mad Lash by The Balm. The second one is Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. And then this one is Superhero by It. These three, I, these three mascaras are amazing, guys. They drive me bonkers, like... They're my to go. Today I used this one on my eyes. I think it was this one. Yeah, I used this one. This is my first time actually using it, but it worked so well. I actually liked it. I mean, you guys can't really tell because my eyelashes like my eyelashes are kind of really small, but they actually <laughs> look pretty, pretty decent once you like come up close to my face. And then last but simply, simply not least. Soak it in, guys. Soak the beauty in. I have been wanting one of these for like the longest time, but a palette. This one of these palettes was like forty-five dollars, and it was not really in my budget. <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> I mean, I love doing buying makeup, but I'm slowly working my way up to buying like the higher name brand, the higher name brand things. So this is like. One of our proudest achievements to have this so early in the game right now. 
This is the Anastasia, Be Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. It's a limited edition. Yeah, it's a limited edition and my friend got it for me for Christmas actually. <clears throat> and one of them is like, I think it's for like $45. And it comes in the, in six shades, which are snow, white sand, golden dawn, sun ray, amber gold, and hot sand. And today when I, to achieve this look, I did, I used the, um, golden dawn mixed with hot sand it gave more of a very bright very 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 bright glow <laughs> that i wasn't really a fan of but you know you have to experiment with things to see what you like right but normally on a regular basis and everyday basis what i normally do i use the white sand and i mix it with the color pop avalon highlight so mixing those two gives an amazing look I love that I love that I personally love so much but the reason I love I use all of them actually but I use these two more I use this one often this one when I'm trying to get like a neutral look not too much glow but just enough to like to see a little bit of a highlight I've never used this one before I don't know if I will but you know, you have, like I said earlier, you have to try stuff to see what you like. But on a regular basis, this is my go-to, the white sand and my ColourPop. And that's pretty much it for all that, guys. Well, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this video. I am truly grateful for all the people that have been tuning in and like slowly following as I slowly, as I build my youtube channel you guys are so great and so faithful and i thank you guys so much for actually staying tuned for those who stay tuned because i've been off and on going on going stopping going on stopping but that's not because i've been actually like not doing my videos it's actually because i have as you know as the weather's been changing i have been it's kind of hard to do because when i started my channel i was using the sun as a light source so as the as winter approached it was kind of very hard for me to start doing my videos because they were coming out like color like a little bit colory like yellowish or like dark at darker than they're supposed to and they were just not coming out the way I wanted them to so I had to wait to buy my ring light as you can see my light is so much better than the last video the last videos that I started with and I am so happy that I have this now and I can do videos anytime that I need to do them. I'm going to try my hardest to be constant with these videos. Right now I'm going to start with one video every week. So guys, stay tuned for that. Um, I honest to God have no excuse to not make a video because my lights are here. I have all my products. I have my little studio set up. I'm just waiting for my background to get a background and then I'll be completely set. So guys... This is definitely a journey that I'm so happy that you guys are going through with me and that you guys are staying faithful to me growing up and approaching where I'm so, where I want to be in this. And thank you guys. I know I keep thanking you guys, but thank you guys so much once again for being faithful followers and supporters. And for all those who did not who have not subscribed to my channel, please like this video well i hope you like this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was really helpful to you guys and i hope that these products can take you into 2017 as i did for me in 2016 i hope that you guys like share and subscribe to my channel share this video like this video and so on and so forth <laughs> you guys know that you guys know what to do you guys know the drill and i love you guys so much Thank you guys. Love you. I know I keep repeating myself over and over again, but the same goes <laughs> for all. Stay radiant.